Hello YouTube, it's William here with the Cobra Opera Strains. Today I'm just going to be unboxing these two guys, discussing some small updates, um, even on the end scale layout. Um, there's been a change of plans. I'm actually not moving in tomorrow. I'm moving in on the 22nd or the 23rd, depending. So I've got a little bit more time here to make videos before break ends. But anyways, um, we're just going to go ahead and open these up. Now this one is a mystery. I don't know what's in here. And I don't recall ordering anything that would be this size either. But this box is from Logan Allen. And I'm not sure, because one of my viewers did say they were sending me something. I just don't know if this is them or not. So I guess we'll find out. There's lots of tape for me to slice on this guy. Oops. Uh-oh, I think I just crushed one of the scenic tufts. Yeah, I did. That's oh, fine. You can't even notice that I've smashed it anyways. Ah, it's one of these boxes. It's the nice ones that like uh, fold open, sort of. Okay. Uh, what is stopping us? I don't know. I'm just gonna muscle that open. Oh, okay. So it looks like we've got some end scale stuff. These feel like passenger cars. Oh, no way. Okay. So that came here fast. Sweet. Okay. So I bought these from a fellow YouTuber, actually. These are European coaches. Also, if you're watching this right now, I'm sorry, I didn't realize this was your box. I wouldn't have said your name out loud. Sweet, these do look really nice. Uh, I'm told the coaches are Lima, and that's not the only thing that's in here. Oh, man, these look really good. Check that out. I think these have interiors as well. All right, so this is the main attraction out of this package. Right here. Ooh, sweet. There she is. There's your uh, locomotive for these guys. European something or other. Uh, I don't know what it is. It's Pacific, but um, I'm sure somebody who's more knowledgeable on Euro locomotives can tell me something about it. Uh, unfortunately, it's missing a smoke deflector on one side, but I'll have to see what I can do about that. Uh, maybe I can get one 3D printed. It's a bit difficult with only one hand, but, you know. Sweet. Well, thank you so much if you're watching. Um... That's brilliant. That looks really good. Maybe we'll toss it on the track and run it. I think I've actually got my... Or wait, no, I don't. I've got the CB and Q Hudson on there. And this one's from eBay. Um, <clears throat> this is the subject of... Actually, not my desire, but of a good friend of mine, Varun's. When he wants one of these very desperately, and um, I told him about... Or he told me about a listing. I went to go check it out, and I accidentally found this one instead. And so without telling him, I went ahead and put in an offer and that offer got accepted. So this thing is the subject of that, one of Varun's deepest desires. But we've already worked out a trade deal for this thing. He is going to be receiving it. Oh, they packaged it in Sendix bags. That's interesting. That I've not seen before. Let's unroll it. Oh, it is in the bag. And it's inside another bag. Jeez, okay. It looks like they've put cardboard rails along it to sort of reinforce it. Sure enough. Oh boy. This is... That, that's certainly a packing job, but you can kind of see it down there. There she is. Oh, boy, did we... Yeah, some detail parts appear to have... I don't know what on earth is going on there, but... Okay. There she is. That is an Athern 462 Pacific steam locomotive. That's right. That's an Athern. Oh, some of the details have certainly come loose. But you know what? She's here. She's mostly together. That little... Oh, no, it's still there. The handrails just need a little bit of TLC. Let's toss it on the track and see if it runs. I'm kind of curious. Let's see if she'll move. Oh, yeah. There's some life in there. Oh, 
That is super nice. Check out those number boards. She needs help, but she moves, which is almost more than I was expecting. That's actually pretty sweet. Yeah, it definitely needs help. I have a feeling something inside the cab got knocked loose and that's why it's making that noise. But I'm gonna stop running it before anything happens. Uh, so yeah, there's that. Oh, that is really cool. I'm excited to um, get this thing all cleaned up and off to Varun. Okay, so in terms of other stuff, we've got a new expensive ass drawer. Uh, I literally just got this today because I'm running out of room to store things as evidenced by the, bo the bottom one being full, all this stuff being full because I reevaluated my system of organization to include passenger sets. Um, but I moved these over here because I had room for it. And um, this new drawer is intended for expensive, rare items. So like the stuff that's on the layout, like the F7, the PS4, the dark green standard, things like that. But yeah, then if we head over by the um, Oh yeah, random thing. I bought a new amp as well with uh, the money that I sold stuff. But anyways, uh, over to the end scale layout. You'll notice nothing scenery-wise has changed, but the rock factory uh, business is booming, as they say. And so I've done all of these. They're just waiting to dry for dull coat. Um, so yeah, that's what's up right now. I've been airbrushing. I've got more stuff to do on the rock walls. I might put some up tonight, but there won't be an update. But I thought it would be fun to show you guys my process for making rocks. At least the steps associated with painting them. This was kind of an experimental piece. But anyways, when they come out of the molds, they look like this. They're just white cast plaster. And then you get the base coat on them. And the base coat is this really light tan color. If you want the exact colors, the base coat is this color of Tester's Cream gloss and then it goes to sand beige and this is where I actually start to weather them because you can see that there's a couple different like lines and fades and things and then over top of that goes the um, gloss light brown which looks like this and then this is the final finished piece that goes to dull coat now you can see right now that there's some shiny areas on the mold and things and um, the best way to compare the two is with these pieces right here. Now, this one is one uniform color, so it's not perfect, I was just experimenting. But anyways, you can see this is a finished weathered rock, ready for dull coat. And this dark brown color is the uniform color of this rock. And this is after dull coat. You can see that there's just a tiny little hint of shininess, but there's not really much. And that's just some spots that I forgot to, or I missed with the dull coat. And then that is what the finished rocks look like. So that's what you get going on here. Now, it's not immediately obvious, but this mold is actually just this mold upside down. So that's what they look like. I just thought I would show you that. So I'm actually going to go ahead and test out that end scale engine on my own. But uh, yeah, just wanted to thank you guys for checking out my little update. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time.